guys welcome or welcome back to send me healing i hope you guys are doing well today's reading is going to be about twin flames soulmate or any kind of soul tie um that is really important to you um that you are in separation with so it's going to be a pickle card we're gonna see what's going on at this time with the connection so if you're in separation from your twin flame or soulmate um this reading is going to be for you um, I have three piles for you to choose from today. Pile one. Pile two. And pile three. I'll show you the piles. Hello, pile one. You guys chose this. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on at this time in your connection uh, with this soulmate twin flame that you're in separation with. So we're going to get started with an overall energy at this time. We have communication. Pile one. Mercury is definitely connected to this. Um, right now we're in shadow. Mercury is going in shadow. I mean, of course, this is a timeless reading, but this is, I feel, is important to tell you at this time. So Mercury is going to have a strong connection with this, may have a strong influence and impact at this time on your connection. Um, This person is uh, getting ready or trying to find a way to connect with you, connect back with you, and this time is going to be a good time for them to transform the connection. At least that's how they see it. They're feeling that this time you guys could do better or this time you guys could actually truly transform something um, negative into something positive. Your person is really trying to transmute any kind of negative energy that could have been accumulated. I'm hearing over the years, so for some of you it is multiple years. For others it is more recent. But whatever negative energy that was accumulated in the past, this person is ready to transmute it. This person is also in a strong um, connection right now with their spirit teams. This person could be... a uh, intuitive, um, psychic, whether they realize it or not. This person could have Pisces energy, Gemini, Virgo, um, also you're in Aquarius. And they are, um, in deep thoughts about you at this time, Pine One. They have been reviewing the past, they have been assessing their mistakes, they have been evaluating all the different things that happened between the two of you, and they're open at this time. They really want to manifest this new beginning, this fresh start. They're going through a big rebirth at this time in their lives. Um, hidden from them, actually, I'm hearing. The rebirth is actually hidden from them. This person is uh, seeing you as someone who is um, very charismatic, Pile One. Uh, a lot of charm, a lot of charisma. You inspire them. Some of you are highly intuitive in this pile. You guys could have been speaking about your spirituality to them. They are just very much intrigued and mesmerized by you at this time. They are communicating with you during your dream state at night, especially when you guys close your eyes. It's a time where you'll be receiving a lot of telepathic messages from this person. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to the time you guys are napping or fantasizing, daydreaming. Anytime you guys close your eyes, even if you guys are meditating, you will be receiving messages from this person because they are re sending you look at all these butterflies they're sending you multiple messages at this time these messages are actually very uh, cryptic or metaphorical do not expect something very clear i'm sensing it's very symbolic make sure that you take note of them signs synchronicities even things that you see in nature but specifically in your dreams they're very symbolic at this time you guys could be seeing animals in your dreams these animals are actually manifested by this person for you to connect back with them. I'm hearing the name Rima, Rim, Rima, Lina. 
Patricia. This person thinks that you guys are twin flames. This person sees you as their twin. This person um, has had a strong, I'm hearing DNA activation, DNA changes since you guys have met. So things have been changing for them at a very, very deep level up to their DNA. Things have been um, manifesting after that but at first that trigger you guys trigger them to a big change a big transformation at a dna level i just saw seagull some of you are seeing seagulls at this time seagull is a very strong messenger from this person at this time so dna activation maybe of a past life um something here a memory that's being reactivated within them that's being actually seen at this time even though you guys have might have not been in communication for a long time at the time where you guys met or when you guys communicated or interacted there was a big change or a big trigger to their dna something that is helping them ascend basically whatever has triggered them um, at that time it was triggered at a biological level at a very physical level and right now it has an impact on uh, their ascension let's see what else let your friends help you it says ask for and accept support from others pile one this person has asked a psychic or uh, someone who could be reading on poems, crystals, I'm also hearing crystal ball, um, someone who is an intuitive reader um, to get an idea where you guys are at. Um, there is a beautiful innocence and purity about you that this person sees. It's almost like they're receiving a lot of messages about your energy. You feel transparent to them. They feel that they can understand you very deeply, but it's almost... Even though they feel that, they're receiving those messages, I'm also sensing that this psychic was actually confirming that, they still have doubts and they still doubt themselves, they still doubt their intuition, they still doubt these insights about you. This person is looking up to you, they have a lot of admiration for you. They are surrounded at this time by multiple options, I'm seeing two, three people here, at least two, and they see you as someone who is different who's very unique when it comes to your energy. It doesn't matter what options they have at this time. Um, someone here wants to have a child with you, Pile One, or has been fantasizing about a child, maybe a baby boy, of you guys taking care of a child, adopting a child, having a child together. I'm also hearing that someone here is a Christian, has been going to the church, or has been asking Mother Mary to assist you guys in this connection as um, uh, asking almost like a, a, a blessing or asking for Mother Mary's benediction or even talking to a priest. Mm -hmm. This person is wanting something solid. Uh, they've been very flighty with you or they could have been quite inconsistent and they, they're really tired of that. They want something solid, something um, that they can truly admire or be proud of or show to others as an accomplishment. So they don't really want to come back with flighty energy. I'm also hearing with sneaky energy. This is not something they're um, applying for. So I don't know what that means. You're not applying for a job, but maybe they are applying for a job. So I'm hearing that. This person is wearing a lot of light colors at this time, neutrals, white, beige, uh, even yellows. Um, they're trying to connect to their crown chakras. They're receiving a lot of insights. Their angels are communicating with them through their crown. They know that you've been thinking about them. Some of you are very pensive at this time, very in your thoughts, very dreamy as well. You guys could have prayed to a certain deity to bring you back together, help you work things through. What else do we have? The Five of Cups. We have Six of Swords. And we have the Hierophants. So what's going on at this time? 
first thing first is there is a message here from spirit for you by when um please move away from any negative thoughts regrets anything that's been lingering in your aura anything that has been bringing you down this is your main priority at this time if you want to manifest fresh start if you want to manifest this transmutation that this person is trying to help you manifest transmuting this negative energy because you have the six of swords and this is Part of your lesson or you're being pushed at this time by this hair font energy to integrate this lesson it's really important that you move forward it's really important that you get to the next step whatever next step it is for you either in terms of your love life or your career it's important that you put this as a priority moving forward moving away from any negativity anything that's keeping you in the in darkness and really moving towards the light there's also a sense here, Pile 1, that there is an ancestor at this time that's helping you with this. Uh, this ancestor has been sending you messages, watching over you at this time, seeing you going through tough times, and really trying to protect you at this time from any negativity or anybody who could be lowering down your vibration. This connection at this time, Pile One, um, is going. I'm seeing. I'm seeing this connection going from the Devil card to the Hero Font card. You guys have taken all the lessons, both of you, the lessons that were needed from the Devil card because the Devil card has multiple lessons. Being in low vibe, being in obsessive thoughts, addictive thoughts, or any kind of toxic energy that's keeping you bound brings you a lot of lessons. At this time, you are traveling from the devil to the hierophant you are moving away from the toxicity the things that are keeping you bound to something that is elevated there's also a lesson here that you guys have conquered both of you in each um uh, in each uh, part of your lives especially during the separation there is a lesson that you guys are learning at this time it is a lesson that is happening while you guys are in separation it is also a lesson that's happening while you guys are almost like closed off to love both of you are closed off to love both of you are resistant to reopening your life to a new love or reopening your heart to new love no matter how many options you could be dating or no matter how many admirers you might have this is um, a clear closing up you guys are both um, restricting your heart chakra at this time and it's okay this is a uh, part of your lesson and this is part of your growth it's okay to have a closed heart chakra at this time it is first of all important to really respond and give to your emotional needs first i'm sensing many of you are working on your root chakra or should be working on your root chakra at this time trying to find stability within yourself finding the root of your emotional insecurities and uh, releasing anything that's keeping you in the low vibe of the five of cups this person is also doing the same thing here pile one there's a lot of mirroring energy they have been in this energy of the five of cups what i'm sensing pile one is you guys have gone through this a while ago and this person is right now feeling it at its depth at its uh, peak in the five of cups energy and they're trying to manifest the six of swords moving forward getting better releasing confusion and um learning the lesson and moving forward this person is truly depressed and feeling uh, very low this person has released all their options people are trying to get to them they're not interested this person is just thinking about you relentlessly this person feels that your cup is the only one that fills their heart that fulfills them everything else is either dropped or even the one they could be with someone at this time for some of you even the one that they are with is not as full is not as magical it's less light is coming in this person is feeling also very much um, wanting almost to go celibate or single 
as to really truly understand themselves i'm seeing the hermit card even if you don't have it this person needs to go within and they're really trying to do that let's get a few messages for you pile one before we close your reading messages for pile one what do they need to know we have you have been protective of your energy. You're trying to heal from the last hurt and betrayal. Warrior spirit is within you at this time. Embrace it. Yes, pile one. Like I said, you guys have moved away already from the five of cups. You guys could have been very protective. And it's really important that you embrace this warrior spirit, especially if you felt like your passion is coming back or that your rage, your um, anger, that you could have felt your frustration you're actually able to channel it in something productive do it embrace that what else magic spells rituals and incantations are affecting this connection at this time keep your thoughts positive if you want things to move forward very good it's really important that you stay positive especially if there are people who are affecting this or if there are people who are bringing down this connection or gossip as well rumors or even maybe spells. So keeping your thoughts positive is going to keep you also protected. You guys are not going to be hurt by that energy. Um, be careful with people who are very close to you. Fake friends, fake uh, family members. Let's see what else. Your love is old-fashioned. It's coming from the old ages. Some of you have a past life that's coming from the middle ages. A death in childbirth in this past life has broken their hearts so yeah some of you have gone through something very tragic in a past life with this beloved and it's like they're being reactivated or they're feeling the hurt from the past all right beautiful pile ones i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please don't forget to like i'll see you later thank you hello hello pile two i hope you guys are doing well you chose this crystal let's get to your reading all right we have community so pile two what's going on right now in this connection community all right first of all um many of you could be changing your perspective or changing your energy or almost shifting your energy from wanting love to wanting friendship from wanting a soulmate twin flame to wanting a soul tribe you guys are shifting right now your um attention from love to something more open or having a community around you that truly understands you and that truly uh, venerates you as well understand your value admires you so many of you are working on that at this moment you guys are working at as well um elevating your energy communing with people who truly matter and this is really great pile two this is actually part of your development i'm seeing mercury here as well i know there was mercury in the first pile i'm also seeing mercury i'm seeing aries energy as well mercury is connected to virgo and gemini and you have also Aries energy here, very strong Sagittarius. You guys are discovering codes. You guys are discovering the secrets of the universe. You guys are very much going into depth when it comes to knowledge, sacred wisdom. You guys are learning. I'm also hearing some of you are learning to read runes or read um, sacred knowledge, uh, even sacred books, uh, maybe even in esoteric knowledge here. Okay occult knowledge i'm hearing some of you are connecting back to your tribal roots especially those who have tribal roots native americans uh, african american anybody who has tribal roots you guys are connecting back and rediscovering um, a path here that is yours This connection was truly a wake-up call, Pile 2. A wake-up call, this twin flame, soulmate, it was a wake-up call for you to remember or to be reminded of who you are. So if you had to burn things from the past, release situation, let go of people, it was for your highest good and now you're seeing it. Pile 2, it could have been hurtful at first, but now you're seeing it. You're seeing the value of doing that. I'm also sensing here, Pile 2, that you guys have embraced um, an energy of self-understanding, self-awareness, self-confidence, self-love, something that is truly um, 
elevating you. You see the star, whatever you wished for, you guys are reaching out for that. You're not lowering your vibration anymore. This is a wake up call. This is a you reminding of yourselves. There's also a sense here of you taking back control of something that really matters. So for example, some of you are taking back control of your emotional wealth, uh, health, your physical health, some of you have been connecting back with nature as well as something you actually have control over and releasing frustration and anger because of the things you can't control, especially when it comes to this connection. A lot of things here you cannot control. I'm hearing especially the negativity of this person or people, this person who's been putting themselves around people who are bringing negative thoughts or gossip or rumors things that could have been attacking them this person could have suffered from psychic attacks and i feel it was the same for you but you're rising above this this person is still in the middle of this um they could be with someone a negative a uh, toxic feminine here a toxic feminine that's um been lowering their vibration especially with her um words something about her words are very hurtful to this person or very toxic keeping them in low vibe this person may want to run from from them it's it's like i feel a runner energy at this time trying to move away from this energy that could have been quite toxic this person could be dating a fire sign leo aries sag i'm also here in scorpio energy make the effort yes this person is ready to make an effort here make a, a movement here especially i was feeling mercury so something maybe a fast movement here even if it's spontaneous even if it's not really thought through i'm sensing leo aries vibes you know something very much or sagittarius some was some that some of them would take a step in something that is quite spontaneous and send you a gift send you a little kiss, do something almost out of the blue that you're not expecting. They're being guided to do this. They might uh, feel a little bit silly, but it's almost like they're, it's almost like out of their control. At some point, they're going to have to reach out. They're going to have to like give you this kiss or send you that gift or send you that emoji I'm hearing. This person is wanting to explore pleasure with you, pile two, innocent pleasure, not necessarily sexual pleasure. I'm sensing a lot of innocence here with these children. Innocent pleasure, like going for a walk, having a picnic, going for a swim. Um, I'm hearing going to the fair, uh, having fun at the fair, playing around, being playful, uh, buying you a little gifts, getting you uh, a hat, I'm hearing. Uh, flowers, uh, a scar for some, playing with your dog or having fun with your dog or both of you having fun with their dog. Very innocent energy, very sweet. I'm hearing Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This person is wanting to be demonstrative with their affection towards you. They want to show you how they feel rather than tell you. They want to show you something. They want to reach out and show you how they feel. Sorry, Sorry about the interruption. All right, so pile two, let's continue. Yes, so they want to show you. There's also a sense, a very strong Taurian, Taurian energy that's showing up here. They want to enjoy material stuff with you. Again, going for a walk, enjoying nature, uh, almost you know touching you, but in an innocent way, smelling you again, kissing you again, but innocently. And just enjoying your physicality, the physicality of the world around them, the 3D together. This person uh, visualizes this a lot, fantasizes this about this a lot. And it, it's unclear how this would happen, but they're always thinking about it regularly. I'm hearing E names, Eric. Um, yeah, E names. We have the Hermit. The Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Pile two. Definitely some of them here are with someone else, maybe in a long-term connection or some kind of family setting 
or something that is established that's bringing them a lot of responsibility, a lot of heavy duty work here or a lot of chores here to do uh, within this setting. So this is not for all, but yes, there are people here in this pile um, that are connecting with someone who's already with someone else. Again, th this feminine here could be quite toxic or manipulative, I'm hearing. Um, someone who could put a lot of burdens on them. So this person, pile two, this connection right now is going through um, time off because things need to be balanced out. It's like there was a lot of uh, give and take that was not fair or it's like you were giving a lot of happiness and this person was bringing burdens or the opposite or you guys were almost like push-pull. One time you guys are pushing, pulling away and you're putting burdens on this person and then the opposite, vice versa. There was a lot of that, a lot of push and pull, a lot of um, also hearing discrimination. You guys could have felt discriminated against or that this person was feeling that you guys wouldn't understand them or you guys um, um, were abusing them in some kind and this person was abusing them too. You were feeling abused by this person as well. It was a closure here, a closure of a cycle that's happening right now. The cycle of push and pull, the cycle of imbalanced give and take, the cycle of things not being fair to you or not being fair to them. Right now, uh, with this hermit energy, you guys are rediscovering a part of yourselves, especially if you've been connecting with uh, soul tribe members, people that truly understand you. But even if you're standing alone, Virgo energy, if you're standing alone in this quest, it's going to be very beneficial for you, Pile 2. It's the same for them. This person is going within. This person is discovering feelings, emotions that they've never discovered before. This person is also putting their foot down, especially if they are in a connection. They're putting their foot down. They are putting themselves first and they're deciding uh, they better be single, they better be alone than actually taking so much heaviness or taking so much uh, criticism from the partner. I'm hearing this person could be scripting, writing, journaling, talking about their feelings in that way. Not specifically to someone, but to something. So probably a book, uh, a computer or something. They're writing about it. This person is um, looking at all the obstacles and thinking that these obstacles are actually not impossible to take on. They know now, this is the kind of things that they're discovering, they know now that if those obstacles used to be heavy or huge at first, they used to look at them that way, actually they were wrong. This is something they're discovering alone, without your intervention, without anybody's telling them. This person has taken time off to understand that and they are understanding that. It is part of their destiny as well to understand that kind of thing. They needed to go within pile two. Virgo energy here with the hermit. I'm hearing also there is Virgo, there is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sag. They needed to penetrate their, their uh, cave here, pile two. They needed to go in their cave, physically or mentally or emotionally or spiritually. A cave was needed, a time off, um, really to reach that spot inside here, their heart. And being guided by the heart rather than being in their thoughts or being so detached. It's also a time where they are facing their demons, pile two. Their demons from the past, past relationships, whether they are in a connection or not, all the past hurts with you and with other people. They're watching them, they're looking at them, they're looking at that version of themselves, they're understanding that that's an old version, that they've moved past it, that there's no reason to be stuck in that past. They're understanding that now. It is difficult for them. It is difficult. It is a tough realization. They are concerned. They feel concerned. Look at this man. They feel concerned and worried. Am I going to be able to move past this? It's tough. It is tough. They have self-doubt. They go up and down. There's a lot of up and downs right now. Um, and sometimes the path is not clear. 
they don't know if they're going to be able to come out of this energy but uh their spirit guide are watching over them their angels are watching over them at this time their ancestors as well they're guiding them through this even if the path is difficult and unclear and dark you know let's see what else pile two what messages do you need to hear about this this uh connection a doorway is opening right in front of your person but they're failing to see it they are deceiving themselves right now, thinking that they can avoid their emotions. Look at this. We're talking about the hermit. Absolutely. I feel this is the kind of emo emotions or energy they were in, and they are really fighting it off. They're understanding that that's their demons, their negativity that's keeping them stuck in that. And they are deceiving themselves. The emotions are there, no matter how much you want to detach yourself from them. What is a conversation at the full moon was or is part of understanding the truth that hasn't been said your guides are wanting you to see this truth and fully accept it some of you may relate to this could be a conversation coming up or an old conversation around the full moon where there was a lot of truth that was being um, communicated to you but not clearly and some of you didn't want to look at it or fully accept it and they want you to accept it this is part of the growth in this connection your beloved is still thinking about your curves the attraction is very potent at this time yes this person is attracted to you pile two they're still thinking about you and i'm seeing this ten of wands they're showing me this person could be watching you somewhere and they're very very attracted to you very sexually attracted it's almost like burdening them heavy on their shoulders heavy on their um sexual energy they're very attracted to you all right pal two i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did don't forget to like i'll see you later bye and welcome pal three to your reading you guys chose this beautiful selenite stone let's take a look we have the tree of life beautiful so let's get started with this energy pile three okay sorry about the interruption so pile three what's going on you guys are planting roots tree of life is someone for me this connection this person is part of your family this person sees you as a family member you guys could be seeing each other as family members this was part of a past life this person has been part of your family either as a, a mother a father a daughter a sister something like that brother in a past life could have also been a lover or um, a husband or wife someone here is remembering this pile three either you are feeling sensing that energy by accessing your akashic records at this time or this person is sensing it somehow or feeling intuitively drawn to you because of this past life connection in the tree of life i'm also sensing here this connection pile three is growing whether you see it or not the roots are being planted they have been planted the seeds have been planted the branches are going to come out no matter what no matter what obstacles are coming no matter what difficulties no matter what um changes need to happen the branches are going to come out and they're going to come out strong the trunk is going to be strong in this connection and it's actually happening right at this time there is growth There's also confusion here, pile three. I feel both of you are confused or maybe doubting this to happen, not wanting to fully accept the connection or just, you know, hiding still. Look at this sun is hiding behind this big tree, hiding. The light is still hiding, but you guys are needing to accept it because it's truth. There's also a sense here of all your chakras being activated by this connection. You guys are healing. You guys could be going through a strong kundalini awakening both of you at this time and reopening yourself to your psychic gifts you guys are connecting back to your akashic records to your roots to your past lives because you are going through this kundalini awakening this is time for you to accept fully this in your heart and understand that whatever was planted is fully um necessary and it's actually going to be activating this growth there's no need for you to doubt 
Purple is important at this time. Some of you want to embrace this color, want to wear more purple, or use purple stones during your meditation or at night when you guys are sleeping. Purple is actually really important. It's going to help you open your heart chakra further. All right, let's take a look at your other cards. You have trust. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, pile three. Let's see. Yes, there could have been a big lack of trust here, especially if this person was seeing other people, or if you guys were seeing other people. There could have been, I'm here in Scorpionic energy, some of you could have Scorpio in your chart. But again, are you trusting this energy here, the tree of life? Are you trusting, are you fully understanding and accepting that this, these seeds have been planted and it's almost bound to happen? Are you trusting that you have faith in the universe for this to happen? I feel here at least one person is trying to control very strongly this connection, trying to make it work the way they want it to work. And this is bringing toxicity. It brings it down to this devil energy here. It brings um, toxicity, yes. I'm seeing a Scorpio and um, a dead uh, a skeleton here. I don't know if you can see the skeleton and then there is a little Scorpio on this uh, boy's shoulder. So yes, there's also here, I'm sensing here pile three, um, there could be this lack of trust or faith here could come from a past life. There could have been issues in a past life where you guys were separated or where you guys, I'm hearing someone went to war and died at the war. This could be a soldier, maybe this lover or beloved one was um, a soldier or someone here who had to go to the war and you guys got separated and this person died, left you maybe with a child. There's something here that could be coming from that that's uh, almost like taken away from the beautiful purity and innocence that should be coming at this time and trust. Pile 3, I feel as well that some of you have felt a lot of coldness from me, this person. Coldness, even detachment, detached energy and um, insensitivity. I'm still sensing Aquarius, Capricorn, um, Scorpio energy again. So, and Virgo, yeah. So coldness here, a sense of being detached from you, not knowing whether they truly are caring for you or not maybe this person never shared their feelings maybe this person never truly uh, showed you how they feel either through their words or their actions or just telling you the truth this is keeping you in an unstable or uh, feeling um, even a bit insecure here pile three But you're being called to have faith. It's really important that you do. If you don't have faith, then things are just going to fall apart. It, there's no reason to believe in this connection. If you guys don't trust the universe, you don't have faith that things have been planted the right way. You guys could be looking at this at a purely... Um, you guys could be fixating your vision or looking at this at a very uh, one-dimensional uh, reality whether than actually looking at the big picture or having a bigger vision here which is what's actually actually being asked of you let's see what else we have the eight of swords the hangman energy and the five of wands wow very difficult energy here pile three many of you are feeling stuck at this time eight of swords hangman five of wands some of you could have blocked this person or this person could have blocked you there is definitely blocked energy here blocked communication and the need to look at this from a different perspective with the hangman energy you're being called to look at this from a different perspective i'm hearing stop fighting yourselves stop fighting your thoughts stop fighting stop being in conflict within yourself i feel it's the case for this person as well it's like i like you i don't like you i love you i don't love you um i hate you i love you you know those uh thoughts that are very much conflicts and putting you in a state of conflict or in in constant tension i feel this person has been thinking about that the conflicts the time you guys have been fighting or you guys have been ignoring each other or have hurt each other by your thoughts or your feelings or the way you guys have been acting towards each other 
uh, Pisces energy here with this hangman energy. And you're being called here to look at things from a different perspective. There is a need to let go of your ego, pile three. I'm hearing that very clearly. Sacrifice your ego. Sacrifice the need to win. Sacrifice the need to be right all the time. And let go of this fixated energy here. Fixated to compete maybe with this person or to play games as well. It doesn't have to be your energy. I feel this is a mirror energy. This is... Um, mm, some of you here have gone through issues with your vascular system. I don't know why I'm getting this. Your veins, your vascular system, okay. Yeah, so I'm just channeling this. Could be for someone here, confirmation that this is your pile. And you're being called to let go of extra weight, extra heaviness, extra things that could be keeping you stuck in the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is not true energy. This is always something that's keeping your mind stuck because you're feeling insecure. You're feeling uh, not good enough. You're feeling that things are not truly progressing. You're just not having trust and faith within yourself and within the connection, within the universe. And it's time to release that energy, Pile 3. You're being guided out of it. And if this connection right now is not evolving, is not moving forward, it is because you guys need to first address this energy of not trusting or fighting yourself or being in conflict within and without. This person is definitely still stuck on you no matter what, Spile 3. If this person is with someone else or has been uh, trying to put you um, maybe in third party situations or putting you in a state where you feel insecure because they are maybe showing off on their social media with other people, please understand that this person is uh, putting on a show. It's not real. I'm hearing Leo energy. It's not true. It is a show. It is wanting to create drama or wanting to provoke you somehow. You are uh, better than that. You are not bound by this. And this is uh, something that you need to understand. This person is still stuck on the past. They're still thinking about the ending. They're still thinking about what they let go of because of you, because of the attraction, they still have all that attraction towards you. The Five of Wands is also something about sexual tension. Every time they see you, they still feel it. Even when they don't see you, they still feel that sexual attraction. They are very hanged up on it. You can't get it out of their hands, of their heads, in their hands maybe. <laughs> Someone here has piercing, I'm hearing, or this person has piercings. You could have like colored hair, like blue, yellow, green, or you guys have colored hair. The universe is pushing you to get, um, to take a step back here, pile three. The two of you, you were pushed to this hangman energy. A lot of delays, a lot of delays at this point because of this lack of trust and the need to heal, maybe even family patterns, family issues, family connections that are not working or that have been working against you in this connection. I'm sensing a lot of family healing here, generational healing that needs to happen or is going on at this time. This is why the delays are here, 4333 in the clock while I'm saying this. So pay attention to this and be more open-minded. Try to get out of your own boundaries. Release the old beliefs here about you and this connection of what needs to happen or what is right and what's wrong okay let's see if you have more messages pile three i'm hearing the name uh name starting with t's and the number 30 they chose something else at this point your love requires true devotion and sacrifice and they know that they cannot truly communicate this to you so this person at this time could have chosen something else i'm hearing something futile or maybe other connections or even water water I'm not sure why i said that i was going to say money uh, career and because they understand that for you to actually get together they will have to truly sacrifice uh, their sense of ego here, this ego that's been bothering them. They have to let go of it and truly devote themselves to you and to this connection. They don't seem to be ready at this point. What else? 
Silence is keeping you apart. This silence is a time of self-reflection. Stay away from obsessive thoughts. This is for me telling you more than anything about the hangman energy. Yes, you guys have been in silence, have been staying away from each other. It is part of your growth. It's important that you use this time for self-reflection. Don't get obsessed by this person. One more. An obstacle is put in your current path to get back together, but this can be overcome. Look at the stillness within and observe slowly what's going to happen with their actions. Yes, so you are being called to be in this hangman energy in order to see what they're going to do on their side. How are they going to react? Let them come, them come your way. Let them do the work. Let them be um, release their ego and come your way. It's important that you stay in stillness right now and observation is going to be important for you, Pile 3, at this point. Anyway, Pile 3, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, always. Um, yeah, so if you liked it, let me know. If you want to leave comments, let me know. See you later. Bye.